Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video, and today we're going to be looking over the top 10 units that you should be looking for, either it's Neo Vision Awakening or it's Neo Vision base units. There's both of these in this video, it's not just Neo Vision units. This is a top 10 video. Make sure to keep in mind that this is not in order. All of them are valid in their own way. I'm only presenting it as a top 10 because this is what most people like to see, I, apparently. Uh, Top 10 video you like tier lists. I know a lot of people are saying tier list, tier list, tier list. I want to see tier lists. Make sure to give a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. I really need those three things being done. And also, please, at the end of this video, there'll be a keyword, and please do that keyword at the end of the video. Anyways, let us get into the top 10 list. For 10, remember guys, this is not in order, any any specific order, but We've got Neo Vision Awakened Shadow here. He has a lot of good things about him. And I'm using him all the time. Um, Sinzar used him a lot. So he has good break dodge depleted because he can um, he can triple cast it. And he has decent full break potential, 80% breaks, single target, not too bad. Tana and Peril, not too bad either. I, I've used it myself. I just used it in the lightning video when I showcased her. I use the like I use the katana and peril, and I did. It, it's pretty important, and also you can you know he he was already a mirage provoker, but now you can triple cast, so it's a lot. He can be a lot faster and more, be more uh, usable in that role. So he's very useful. I would say I would say definitely if you guys have a whole bunch of them, definitely look forward to that. Moving on, Awakening King Edgar Figaro, and I think a lot of people kind of already know a little bit about him because he was. A little spread, spread a little bit around Reddit and stuff like that. Um, he actually is a tra true to wield dragoon, which most most times you're building him for that way, anyways. But he's actually built for that, so it's pretty good. High damage even without a lot of good gear, because most of it's jump damage and killers. So you don't really need anything else. Just go two spears, I guess. And he still has good breaks, um, just like he had before. It's a little amplified now because of New Vision Awakening, but you know, he has triple cast, so you don't have to worry about anything weird going on with that. And he also has Spear in Peril, which is quite nice. So, I think that's something if, if you've got a lot of him sitting around, make sure to get him ready for that. Uh, he should be coming in at end soonish. We have New Vision Draconian Princess Fina, who just got released recently on the JP side. Super high damage output. Um, she can be, she's an invoke chainer on a brave shift form. Um, minimal setup is required, she only needs one turn. Only, just like all evoke damage dealers on the JP side or maybe on the global side, like another person that we'll be talking about, a lot of gear is required to make her good. If you feel a lot of Esper damage stuff, if you feel have a lot of magic stuff, then that's good. And I showcased a little bit of what she can be geared like in my... I don't remember what it's called now. If there's a there's a video where I show she has 6k magic. It's quite a lot of magic. I don't think I, I can't get 6k magic in anyone else besides her, so it's interesting. But I know I know I made a video about her a little bit and showing her gear and stuff. So make sure to check that out. She's in the she's in the thumbnail. Shows the shows the 6k magic in the thumbnail and stuff like that. I can't remember what it's called right now though. Sorry about that. But yeah, she's definitely one to look forward to if you have a whole bunch of them. You're like, oh man, another, another, another Draconian Princess Fina, darn it. Well, not anymore. Now it's actually good to have. Moving on. Now I know this is one that a lot of people are wanting to, for me to talk about. And yes, she's here. There are some drawbacks, though. So she has a lot of uh, Demon, Demon Race mitigation, which is very nice. 80% magic mitigation on her Lone Burst, Brave Shift Lone Burst, which was really nice. But she also has 90% magical mitigation for all, all, all allies um, on, her, on a Gradius ability, which is very good. Fire Loop on a Provoked Skill, 
And against most trials, uh, unfortunately against most trials, Fina and Daisy will just be better because first of all, more utility than what, what she can provide. And unfortunately, Sacred Shield Ch Charlotte, until, unless she gets buffed, which I really doubt that, uh, she only has two turns on her Brave Shift, so you won't be able to use too many of her abilities. You have to time them out right if you want to shift over. So you will want to rely on Sacred Shield Charlotte when she gets Neo Vision Awakened. She's good. It's just like, Fiend and Daisy is just way, way better. Preemptive yeah. cover and Charlotte does not. That already kind of sets them apart. But I guess against Trials where you don't need preemptive cover, I think she'll probably be fine. It's just that there are some several Trials that will have preemptive attacks. So with that being said, Sh Charlotte is definitely one to look forward to. But I wouldn't say that she's better than, in, than Daisy and Fina, unfortunately. I just talked about in my previous video, Neo Vision Reagan. He is top tier damage. Um, he needs very little, I forgot to put a, a tally here. He needs very little setup, by the way. Um, he has, already has 200% limit for his damage in his kit. So you only need 100 more, which is pretty easy to obtain. Um, for even for like, you know, beginner accounts. Not beginner accounts, but you know what I mean. Like, accounts that don't spend any money, I think could get 100 more limit burst damage in some way. Um, he doesn't have very complicated rotation, just imbue with him, and then just use his limit burst for the next four turns. Because his imbue lasts for five turns. So you would, you would imbue in the first turn, like I showed in my video, and then and you brave shift over and you start limit bursting over and over and over again. The only problem is that he needs help with that Lumen Burst over and over and over again because he needs help with that. So he, he, every turn you you're need to be doing his Lumen Burst or else you are losing damage. This is how that goes. So the Reagans, like I did on the JP side, I can get him an EX2. So that's quite nice. So if you have a whole bunch of them, now it is the time to rejoice. Moving on. We have Fizzless here. I think she's not really been power crept at all. I know that um, Soul and Fina came out on the JB side, but uh, even then, she's still up there in damage. So she's a competitive chainer. She can be a fin magic finisher, but she can also be a chainer. She has a 600% or 6 times cap, and 150% true to wield in her normal form, and 200% true to wield in her brave shift form, which is very nice. She has good killers. She has really high burst. The only drawback that I ever saw when using her is that you need her Luna Burst completely full every single turn because you need one of her best moves costs Luna Burst Kaj, uh, her whole Luna Burst Kaj bar, so you really need that. Luckily she does have something that allows her to get, for a few turns allows her to get full S Kaj for a few turns as one of her greatest abilities, so during the, during the, for, for a few turns you can get that going. So Fistless is definitely one, she'll be coming out soon by the way, very soon. I knew this, this one was gonna, was gonna come into the list. I mean, come on. Everybody knows about Terra. I don't need to go too much into it. I already made a video on her entirely, so on version. She's an incredible invoke finisher, but she needs a whole lot of equipment. Um, she's not free to play friendly whatsoever, but she needs a lot of stuff to work. And also, her zones can help out support your team. For, for example, and the best example I can think of is, the, is Shiva to help out with Ice Damage for Fistless, the one we just talked about in the previous slide. So that can help out a lot. But moving on. He's 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 just the next age breaker. I mean you there's not much you can do with breakers nowadays because they all kind of they all have to have a roll compression. You can't just bring a breaker and like CG lid anymore. You can't just have a breaker like that anymore. You have to have them doing multiple things. So this is just the next age breaker. He's Vaughn's replacement. But I'm not saying that you need to replace him. I'm just saying that he's he is Vaughn's replacement because he has a better Roll compression than Vaughn at this point because he is a DPS. He is also a dodge auto provoker and he also is a breaker. He can also imbue. He can also imperil. Vaughn could do that, but he could not imbue. And also he has 90% attack and magic breaks. So quite nice. He can also DPS. Lock with Gabronth and some other units that are not typical DPSs that they can do a team synergy. So if you want to check those out, they're on my channel. We have Neo Vision, Rain, and Fina, the first one of the first tag units in the game. And if you don't know anything about the tag mechanic, I have a whole bunch of those on my channel as well. I'm sorry I'm not plugging so much, but it's just like I've got the stuff covered. So if you guys want to know more about the units I'm covering here in this video, I've got a whole bunch of them in that video. So, anyways, 
Their, the first, their normal form is basically King Rain 2.0, much better though. Because he's self-sufficient, he can get his own Priscage up with one of his abilities. He, has, he can imbue himself, he can imperil himself. Not himself, but the boss, you know what I'm trying to say. And the Phoenix side is a lot, lot more like Luster, but she can be a decent magic chainer and healer if you would need that. I've seen some people do it. I just don't think that is the the Fina side's the weaker side, I think. So basically that they're 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 a chainer. They don't they take up one spot but they're a chainer. So they're chaining them by themselves. And like I said, they're self-sufficient. That's what I want to look forward to. And finally, we have Savior Souls Light. So if she is the first I I'm calling her that at least. She's not this is not an official thing, but I'm calling her this. The first magic provoker, so she's really built to tank um, single target magic. Her STMR helps out with TDH units, for example, if they have the 5 times cap like she does. If you equip that to her, then she has the 6 times cap. Uh, disclaimer, this does not work on true dual units that has a 6 times cap or 600% already. That will not help them at all, it will not do anything. I've seen some people on the friends list put um, that on Reagan, for example, it will not help them whatsoever. It will only help units that have the four times to five times cap. Does not help any. Does not go any higher than six hundred percent, or six times. So anything other than that will not help. And she can be allowed to provoke DPS, which is quite nice. So well, there's a lot of lightning fans out there, and for all those lightning fans out there, please go check out that lightning video that I made. If you guys want to go check out more about lightning? I have a video on that too. I'm sorry for all the plugs. I'm just saying that I have a whole bunch of videos that I'm cover I covered on all these units that we're talking about in this video, so it would help me and it helps you out, helps you and helps me if you want to check out more of my content. And I have a whole bunch of guys in all these units that we talked about in this video. So if you like this video, please give a like. Make sure to tell me that you like these tier lists and things like that, so I can maybe make more because this takes a lot of effort. I'm only saying this because tier lists don't t tend to do very well on my channel, but. People said that they want them, so it's kind of like a weird counterbalance where like people want tier lists, but then no one really watches them. So make sure to give a like, like I said, make sure to comment down below. Hashtag tier will be the keyword for the name of the video. Thank you guys for watching. There'll be a whole bunch of videos, not only two, on, but I think I might put some slides in. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Make sure to check out all those videos on those units uh, if you are interested in them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.